by the time most of you see this, tomorrow will be the big day. And um, a lot is on the line. And um, assuming we're able to learn who wins on election night or shortly after, I wanted to talk about what we can expect if Donald Trump does in fact get another four years as president. Now, the question is, how much more damage can he cause? Because all of the things that we expected him to get accomplished easily, he already did in his first four years. He got us out of the Paris Climate Accord. He withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal. He gutted the ACA. I mean, it's basically death by a thousand cuts, but his new Supreme Court justice may give it its final death blow. So what can he possibly accomplish with four more years? Well, the answer to that is quite a bit. Um, but before I talk about my expectations, if Trump does in fact win re-election, I want to go back to November 7th of 2016, where I talked about my expectations back then. And I uh, shared my thoughts about what we could expect if Donald Trump was elected. And as you're going to see, a lot of the things that I anticipated did in fact end up coming to fruition. If it's the case that Donald Trump wins tomorrow, I'll be glad to know that Hillary Clinton wasn't rewarded after rigging the primary against Bernie Sanders, but in spite of this short-lived satisfaction, I'll be utterly terrified at the direction that he's going to be taking the country in. So he might back out of the TPP and install term limits on members of Congress, but I'll expect him to take immediate action that will be incredibly harmful to the entire country and the world. So as he stated, I expect him to rip up the Paris Climate Agreement on day one, which will exacerbate the threat of climate change. He'll also tear up the Iran nuclear deal on day one as well, making war with them a greater likelihood. He'll also fight to repeal Obamacare, which will lead to millions of Americans losing their health insurance, myself included. He'll immediately attempt to fill the open seat on the Supreme Court with an extremist like Scalia, and his Supreme Court justices will influence the court's decisions for the next three to four decades. Civil rights will be under attack. Gay people could lose the right to marry. This will affect me. And women could lose their right to a safe and legal abortion. This will affect 50% of the population. White nationalists will feel empowered if he wins. And racism will likely augment, leading to nationwide turmoil. Not to mention, his fascist anti-Muslim policies will create more extremism. Now, the U.S. might even default on our national debt, as he's indicated he might let happen. And he'll also implement a Syrian no-fly zone like him and his VP have been planning to do. And that will lead to the deaths of Syrian civilians, not to mention the innocent civilians he said he plans on killing, the family members of ISIS. So if Donald Trump wins, this will be a very dark time in U.S. history. And this is something that is scary. The thought of it is really scary. I've literally had nightmares about Donald Trump being elected. He's a very terrifying politician uh, and a very terrifying person in general. And I don't think that I want the country to go backwards with Donald Trump. So uh, if Donald Trump wins, we're going to have to fight our asses off like you would never imagine to make sure that he doesn't destroy the country. Uh, and I don't even know where to begin if he wins. Where do we start? He has so many harmful policies that would help destroy the country that this is going to be a, a huge battle it's going to be horrible so if donald trump wins then it's a sad day for america so for the most part i think i was pretty spot on but it's not like i you know have a crystal ball or anything all of the predictions that i made about donald trump these were things that were pretty obvious and i think a second term with donald trump is going to be a little bit more difficult to predict if he does get a second term but the question is uh, did he live up to my expectations after we saw what i expected back in 2016 and the answer is uh no i mean sure he didn't do all the bad things that i thought you know he didn't make us default on our national debt, he didn't institute a Syrian no-fly zone, but he did increase drone strikes by 400%. He did assassinate a top Iranian general just this year. I know it seems like it was years ago, but that was this year, putting us on the brink of war with Iran. But still, having said that, even though he didn't do all of the bad things I had anticipated, he still didn't live up to my expectations because even knowing he would be a disaster, even knowing his victory in 2016 would put us in one of the darkest times in American history, he still is worse than I anticipated. Believe it or not. And I say this because there were things that we couldn't possibly predict or account for back in 2016, like COVID-19, 
the extent to which he has mishandled a worldwide pandemic can never be overstated. Nearly 225,000 Americans are dead because of Donald Trump, because he refused to take this virus seriously. It's his fault. The blood is on his hands. And when you consider that and factor in his continuation of the war machine, he has officially reached George W. Bush levels of destruction. And with another four years, he could be worse than George W. Bush. On top of that, Donald Trump is an anomaly. Even though, you know, his policies don't necessarily differ from most Republicans, he's an anomaly in the sense that he does pose a unique threat to democracy. He has pushed American political institutions to their limits, to a breaking point, to where we are on the verge of losing democracy, diminishing our democracy, eroding democracy even more. And he has undermined democracy more so than any other president in modern American history. His refusal to commit to a peaceful transition of power is shocking gassing peaceful protesters, extrajudicially murdering United States citizens, and then openly bragging about it, committing to run for a third term even though he knows that is unconstitutional, having his legal team construct ways that he can remain in power even if he loses, even if Joe Biden wins the popular vote and the Electoral College. His team is trying to find ways to make it so he clings to power. He is by far the most substantial threat to democracy our nation has faced in a very long time. And on top of that, we now have even more concentration camps in our country. And at these facilities, we see widespread abuses. COVID-19 is running rampant. Women are getting forced hysterectomies. This is fascism. Not on the scale that we saw in Nazi Germany. But if he gets four more years, who knows what this country is going to look like? I'm not saying that America cannot survive another four years with Donald Trump, but I'm also not saying that it can. And if he gets another four years in 2024, American democracy will be hanging on by a thread. America as we know it will not look the same if it even exists, if we don't start seeing states attempt to secede from the nation because of the damage that he has caused. So what more can he possibly do? He's already done so much. Well, if he gets four more years, he may get another Supreme Court pick. Maybe two, possibly. You never know what can happen. And I would guess and say that, you know, if another seat becomes available, it's because a conservative stepped down. But we don't know what could happen. Another liberal justice could inexplicably die and Trump all of a sudden is in a position to uh, widen the majority on the Supreme Court. 7-2 instead of 6-3. Additionally, we may actually see Roe v. Wade and Obergefell v. Hodges be overturned. The Republican Party, conservatives, have never been in a more advantageous position when it comes to the judiciary. So in the event these landmark cases get overturned, we have an administration that will not do anything about it. Instead, he will celebrate it. COVID-19 is still likely going to be gone sometime during Trump's next term. But knowing he will do absolutely nothing to contain the spread, we know it's going to happen. It will likely linger on longer here than any other country, even after vaccines are widely available and distributed, causing even more unnecessary deaths when he should be doing everything in his power to contain the virus. We can expect him to continue to escalate with Iran, possibly killing even more military generals, doing more military exercises along their border, possibly getting us into an all-out war with Iran, even if it's inadvertent. We will continue to see civil unrest because with zero reform, we will see more police officers assassinate unarmed black Americans across this country. Trump is not even going to attempt to ameliorate the situation, stop the crisis. He's not even going to try to meet with protesters. He's not going to try to opt for any police reform. He's just going to try to suppress the protests. And who knows what authoritarian means he will use to suppress those protests, putting us down an even more dangerous path so when an even more competent fascist like Tom Cotton comes to power, he will have so much power after Trump has consolidated the power of the executive branch that I don't even know what to expect. Like, it's just... It's disaster waiting. And after serving two consecutive terms as the president, 
when Trump goes away, the Trump era will basically stay for a very long time. Trumpism, Trumpian politics will remain popular because Trump proved by winning another term that this form of politics is popular. It plays well with the base. White supremacy, fascism, these are things that actually appeal to the Republican base. And even if it's not you know, going to make him popular with most Americans, it's enough for him to win. So they will remember this and we will see even more fascism. They will be even more emboldened, the fascists, the white supremacists, than they are now. And uh, perhaps the most dreadful thought is that when he leaves office in four years, that will leave us with six, maybe seven years left to act if we're going to meet the IPCC's 12-year deadline when it comes to climate change, the situation, it, it, honestly, you can't really know what to expect with another four years of Donald Trump because we've gotten used to the damage. We've absorbed all of these blows. Our democracy has absorbed all of these blows. But when it's all said and done, when we look back at this, he would have caused, after eight years, so much damage that it will take a generation to be undone. And the problem is that his legacy will uh, linger on for decades because he has the judiciary. He filled the judiciary. So if Donald Trump wins tomorrow, I think that a lot of us are going to rightfully feel disappointed because we will see a continuation of one of the darkest times in American politics. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.